What are the reasons for organizing and supporting this event? We are very pleased uh, to organize this event with our partner Dupont, especially to have uh, Dubai Electricity and Water Authority sponsoring this event, which prove again that uh, Jinko is always present to provide all the support needed to the government and help them ensuring a successful solar program in their country. What are the major Jinko solar milestones and achievements in the MENA region to date? Jinko Solar is a $2.5 billion company listed in New York Stock Exchange, one of the cost leaders with a vertically integrated production. Starting from May this month, we are reaching a production capacity of 500 megawatt per month. We are now more than 15,000 employees, split in more than 24 offices, and with, we have five production plants, two in China, one in Portugal, one in Malaysia, and one in South Africa. We have a very well diversified team to ensure a local follow-up with our local partners. Jinko Solar is a 12 gigawatt deployed company serving our clients in more than 70 countries. In the Middle East and Africa market, we have more than 450 megawatt of installed PV panels, which place us to have the biggest market share in this region. This is all thanks to our expertise in this industry and thanks to the continuous support of our R&D team to provide the best quality modules suitable for a harsh weather condition similar to this region. And of course, thanks to our partners, which we consider them at the main reason of our success in this region. Could you give us an update on the current market situation in the most promising countries in the MENA region? The MENA market is definitely a very promising and active market. In UAE and Dubai, starting by Shams Dubai program or the net metering program, which was launched by His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Rashid Al Maktoum, in a target to install PV panels on all Dubai rooftop, arriving to the utility scale project like Al Maktoum. Maktoum Phase 1, Al Maktoum Phase 2, and the famous 800 megawatt Al Maktoum Phase 3, which is considered to be the biggest project in the world. In Abu Dhabi, we can see a great governmental support coming from Adwia, with their recent launch of the 350 megawatt Adwia tender, and Masdar with their great appetite in developing and financing utility scale projects locally and internationally. In Jordan, it's still a very promising market thanks to the distributed generation and the wheeling project. And thanks to the utility scale project like Jordan around 2 to 100 megawatt and Masdar 103 megawatt EPC tender. For Saudi Arabia, we just heard about their 9.5 gigawatt plan and we are waiting for more news and updates. For Egypt, it's a very promising country with their 2 gigawatt of feed-in tariff where we expect to hear more about the financial close in September. It's also important to mention Morocco with mass and 170 megawatt project and the recent ONA tender where I consider that Morocco will lead the North African market following their preparation of COP2020. To conclude, I think the market in the MENA region is expected to grow 50% year over year where I consider this market as the most promising in the entire region. Mm -hmm.